looking more into the world of wearable technology, we just realized there's this huge void in there. You know, wearable tech is great, but it, it doesn't do that thing which everyone wants it to do, which is help them real time. And that's when we fit in. It's that gap between you and the technology and the information the technology can bring you. We want to fulfill the niche of subtle technology that, that really works in an intuitive way, but also with the body. And that's why we've gone down the, the route of haptics. Haptic feedback is uh, giving a simple set of vibrations. It's a vibration that happens on your skin, so it's very subtle and discreet. If you look through the silicon, we can see tiny little motors that give you a little vibration pulse, a haptic feedback. We're using the Edison prototyping platform, just been released by Intel. It's a great platform to get you and help you through the prototyping stage. We'll be able to integrate all of these devices into one very small form factor. The design basically consists of two elements, which is the band that goes around the back of your neck, just like a regular necklace. We realised the neck was a great place to pick up information, things like heart rate, breathing, there's a whole lot of information that goes through the neck. And then the pendant basically just does a number of core functions. The principal function was navigation. Smartphones are great, don't get me wrong, they're an amazing piece of technology. If you're navigating a city, looking at your smartphone, you miss so much. We look at this tiny little screen when we can look at the world around us. For example, if you need to go left when you're navigating, it will give you a vibration on the left hand side of your neck. Or if you were going too fast on your bike, it might give you a warning vibration. You can set triggers if you want to make, say, your heart rate reached 120. You can set a trigger that could send pulses back to you just to alert you that you, know, you need to calm down a bit. So the body app basically listens to your heartbeat. It's, it's kind of like a standard fitness tracker, but it does a lot, lot more than a standard fitness tracker. On top of that, one of the key applications is voice. This enables you to interact with technology in, in a much smoother way. We really see this as a platform for partner brands or anyone to get behind. Other devices can basically connect with our device. We're giving our users a load of different sensors and hardware um, which they can use in endless combinations. We see a world that's progressively becoming internet connected, so there does need to be a better user interface than, than your smartphone for that.